In this video, we will see how to save our trained machine learning model in our computer or laptop. So you can use the same saved model later on to make predictions. You don't need to train your model again. You just have to call your model object and it will make predictions. You can use either Pickle or Joblib to save your model. Now you must be thinking why there are two methods to save the model. You can always Pickle to save your model but if your model has large numpy arrays then it is better to use Joblib. And now here you will see that I have already trained a model and let me walk you through the code. Then we will save the model using the Joblib. So here you will see I have imported some libraries like NumPy, Panda, Seaborn, etc. Then I have read the data set and these are the head. This is the head of the data set where we will see number of rows here and number of columns. Then I have selected here the independent and dependent variables. And then I have done the splitting. The next is feature scaling. I have applied the standard scaler to scale our features. And then the next is to instantiate the model. And here you will see I have used the random forest regressor. And these are my hyper parameters. And then I have fed the model on this X train and then this Y train. And then I have made predictions and saved in this variable Ypred. Now we are going to save this model and the model object is regressor. We are going to save this model object in our machine using this job lib. And if I take you to my working directory, so this is my working directory here. I have just one file joblib.ipnyb which is a python file. Now I am going to save the model and you will find that model object here later on. Now let me import this job lib. I will write import job lib. Next I am going to save this regressor model. So I will call from job lib. I will call the method dump and inside this first I will pass the model object which is regressor. I will copy it from here and then paste it here and next I want to uh, give it a name. So this is a random forest model. I will write random random forest and now let us execute our code so this has saved this model object and if i open the directory again you will see here we got this model object here which is random dash forest so we have successfully saved our model object using joblib and now we are going to import this model object random forest and we will make the predictions and if i call this ypred here so you will see here we are getting the predictions here now let us import this uh, model object which we have saved and save in a new variable i'll make a variable rf underscore and to load the model we will call this class job leave and from this we will call the method load and inside this we have to give the model object name and the model object name is random forest i will just copy it from here and then I will paste it here in double quotes and let us execute our code. So I have successfully loaded the model object and now if I call this RF underscore. So you will see here we get this model object here random forest regressor and these are the hyper parameters. Now to make predictions using this random forest object we can do that and to do that I will call this RF underscore which is nothing but this model object. And from this I will call the method predict and inside this I will write x underscore test and let me check here the predictions here. So here also they are making this prediction on the x test and if I call this so here in the output you will see we are getting the same prediction the first one is 220297 and here also you will see it is 220297 and the other predictions are also same. So this is how you can use this job lib to first you know dump your model object and once you dump your model object the next is to load that object back to the environment so that you can make the predictions and to load the uh, model object you have to use the method load and to dump it you have to use the method dump and then you can make predictions this is how you can work with the job lib. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.